Your Tuesday less than toasty and for some of us awful snowy as well. Now we didn't get huge quantities of snow throughout the day today, but certainly it's created another slippery travel day here across the valley. The light blues that you see on here as we look at the latest in the radar showing some light snow on the Highway 2 corridor and points south. But where we see the deep blue colors, some heavier snow south of Bismarck along the South Dakota border. And if you're in places like Wapaton, Breckenridge near the Chahinka Pazoo down there, some flakes flying there moving east pretty quickly in some stout upper level winds. Now we look out to the west in most cases to see what What's coming our way? Another band of snow along the South Dakota border, more in Montana. So we're not quite through yet, but things drying up in northwest North Dakota near the Crosby area. For us, cloudy skies continue at Hector, two degrees on the thermometer. Wind, not so much of a factor at six miles per hour, but it's still wind chilly outdoors with wind chills for many in the teens below zero. A lot of uniform temperatures across eastern North Dakota, close to zero degrees. It's a little warmer than that in central Minnesota and in Lakes Country. A lot of five degree readings there. Zero is your reading this hour in Grand Forks. Here's your hour by hour forecast this evening. And as our main bands of snow have shifted out of the area, nothing too heavy now. As we set this into motion, we see a redevelopment of snow as cold, dense air starts to punch its way in. And as an upper level disturbance, both combine to create yet another chance of evening snow. So by 10 o'clock, we could be have some more accumulating snow working its way through the area. So if you are driving this evening, keep that in mind, especially if it's late. This out of here pretty quickly. Skies clear by daybreak for many across North Dakota. Still a few clouds in Minnesota. That allows those temperatures to uh, dive bomb down into the near 10 below range with winds out there that will be at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Eh, it could be wind chilly. Once again, 20 to 30 below across the region to start your Wednesday. As we go through the day, sun comes out. It'll feel nice out there. Not a lot of wind out here. The wind arrows show the windiest conditions will be in the Devil's Lake uh, area as well as the James River Valley and temperatures climbing up to around 10 above. Still way, way below average for this time of the year, but it will feel like a pretty wonderful Wednesday. Maybe a few clouds late in the day, maybe a flake or two of snow near the Lake of the Woods areas to close out the day. How much more snow, Hutch? Well, we measured outside the station here. 1.75 to 1.8 inches on the ground here in South Fargo. An additional 1 to 2 inches, not out of the question, along and south of Interstate 94, right down to the Twin Cities, where a few areas could see a little more than that. The rest of us, just sweepable snow, if you will. Now, taking a look at your planning forecast, first and foremost, that wind chill, an issue for western, North Dakota, western Minnesota and all of North Dakota. In fact, the coldest wind chills will be to our north and west. Tomorrow morning, it's six below, slowly ramping up with sunny skies, wind speeds 10 to 15 miles per hour through the afternoon, with temperatures peaking of 12 degrees in the late afternoon hours for Fargo, eight in Grand Forks, five Devils Lake, and eight in Jamestown. And tomorrow afternoon, very close to 10 degrees from Bemidji all the way to Detroit Lakes and Thief River at seven. All right, take a look at this photo here, uploaded a lot of wildlife struggling to stay warm. Doe on the go in the snow, Cormorant Rick, thank you for taking the time to upload your photo. Here's a look at the planning forecast and folks, it's more of the same, although we do get all the way up to 18 degrees. Sauna weather there. Holy smokes, you say? Well, we get cold for the weekend. Saturday morning, 17 below with a lot of wind after some Friday flakes work their way through, most of which will fall south and we will have some accumulation. We stay cold and windy into early next week before our next round of snow on Monday. Hmm, does the 18 make up for all of it? Make what, up for anything? What do you think well, at home? Sure. Ooh, sure, I felt yeah. that brick hit the TV, did you? <laughs> yeah, I right. did. Hey, we got some more really, really